Hi and welcome to the second video on solution of triangles in trigonometry. In this video we will go through a reminder of our active process as well as look at what extra to include when doing 3D proofs and we will then end with looking at a worked example. So here are the steps we looked at in the previous video for the active process. Pause here if you need time to recap or look through any of these again. Then if we look at what extra to be aware of, knowing whether you are working with a 2D or 3D figure is helpful in order to identify which lines and angles are in the same plane and where there are 90 degree angles. Also when working with your angles or equations, you may need to apply your compound and double angle knowledge. Again a reminder of the sine cos and area rules and that you need to know their proofs. Pause here for a moment if you need to. So here is our worked example. Let's get going with having a look through it. I have provided the question with just its information first. Remember to expect these questions to be busy and wordy and so to take it one bit at a time. This is a 3D example where it tells you that RT represents the height of a vertical tower. As soon as you read about the height of anything, you can assume that the object, in this case the tower, is at 90 degrees with the ground below it. The shading also helps to see what lies on the same horizontal plane. We are given that A and B represent two points equidistant from T and which lie in the same horizontal plane as T. We are also given that the angle of depression of B from R is alpha and that angle RBA is beta. And also that the height of the tower is H. Let's take a moment to check some terminology. An angle of elevation is an angle from the horizontal upwards, for example an angle upwards from the ground. An angle of depression is an angle from the horizontal downwards, for example an angle downwards from a ceiling. So if we look here, Alpha is an angle of depression from the horizontal RP. Let's go on now to look at the rest of the question. So now that we've spent a bit of time with the information and the sketch, let's have a look at what they are asking us to do. First we have to give the size of the angle ARB in terms of beta. So here they are guiding us with what groundwork needs to be done. Make sure to read your question again to see what info they give you to help with this first part. Then they ask you to prove that AB equals 2H cos beta over sine alpha. Remember the recipe for this process. And then lastly they ask you to calculate the height of the tower and they give you certain values. Make sure to work through this question from start to finish. It is so important to practice even the parts of maths that seem easier. You can take a moment to pause the video now to give this question a go. In looking at the solution, the first thing to realize in order to be able to do the first part of the question is that because A and B are equidistant from T, this means that RA and RB are equal. And this then makes triangle RAB isosceles. Triangle RAB is this triangle formed from the top of the tower to points A and B. And so angle RAB is then also beta, which means that angle ARB, the third angle of the triangle, is 180 minus 2 beta. Then on to the second part of the question, let's take a look at what we have to prove. So we need to include H, beta and alpha when finding AB. And so we need to bring H and alpha in from our 90 degree triangle RTB and beta from the non-right-angled triangle ARB. The linking side of these two triangles is RB, and so we must look to find an equation for AB in terms of RB, and an equation for RB. You will see that it doesn't matter which one of these equations you find first. So one at a time, let's find an equation for AB first. In triangle ARB, using the sine rule, we can say AB over sine 180 minus 2 beta equals AR or RB over sine beta. Sine 180 minus 2 beta then reduces to sine 2 beta, and if we multiply through by this, we get that AB equals RB sine 2 beta 
over sine beta. If you recognize the double angle at this point, then go ahead and expand and simplify. If not, then be guided by what you have to prove and hopefully this will spark the idea to expand the double angle as what we need to prove only contains single angles. So we've looked at question 1 and the first part of question 2 here. Let's go on now to look at the rest of question 2. We've kept the first part in here so that we can follow the full process. So having found an equation for AB in terms of RB, Next, we then need to find an equation for this linking side, RB. We use that the angle of depression here is alpha, which means this angle here is alpha because of alternate angles. And this then means that we can use our 90 degree triangle RTB to state that H over RB is sine of alpha. And from here we can make RB the subject of the equation by first multiplying through by RB and then dividing through by sine alpha. An alternative method here, which is slightly trickier in terms of trig but easier on the algebra, is to place RB on the top left of the equation because that is what we need to find. This then means it'll be RB over H, which is the inverse of sine alpha, and so it'll equal 1 over sine alpha. Then by multiplying through by h, we get rb equals h over sine alpha. The final step in this question is then to substitute this expression for rb into the equation we found for ab, and as you can see here, the outcome is exactly what we were asked to prove. The third part of this question is asking us to calculate the height of the tower. It is probably easiest and safest to make h the subject first, work carefully here and then substitute all the values provided and use your calculator to work out the final value for h. Remember whenever you ask the height or distance of something to just double check the question for which units you need to use. When you feel ready for more practice, you will find further examples on pages 26 and 27 in our Grade 12 Maths Turn 1 study guide. Thank you for watching this video. We really hope it has set you on a path where you feel confident to tackle the solution of triangle questions. Also, if you have watched all the trig videos from the beginning, congratulations, you have made it all the way through to the end of our trig series. We really hope you are feeling more confident about this section and inspired to put in the time to ground all that you've learned. Remember that TRIG covers a third of Paper 2 and so increasing your confidence in this section will positively impact your Paper 2 exam experience. We really wish you all the best. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.